Hey, it's Alex Clark. We have to talk about these people trapped in the submarine. We all live in a yellow submarine. This company called OceanGate, which right there, I'm like, you're really going to name your company after a conspiracy theory? Send these people into the depths of the sea. Never really been proved before that it'll work. Foreshadowing. Anyway, interesting choice. Five rich people trapped in a submarine. They pay $250,000 each to go into the depths of the ocean to explore Titanic wreckage. And they're basically lost. Their, their sonar thing went off the radar. Nobody knows where they are. The size of this thing is as big as a minivan. I'll just be here listening to my tunes. There's five people, basically grown men, essentially, being told to sit crisscross applesauce, and there is one little toilet. Now, this is big news for me to find out, because I had no idea that there was a toilet in there, and so for the last several hours, I've been thinking about the bathroom logistics and what you do and what you choose to do in that situation if all of you are just sitting in this cramped little space, and obviously, they weren't planning on being gone for hours and hours and hours, so then everybody has to go to the bathroom eventually, then what do you do? <laughs> But there is a toilet, so we can all, you know, relax on that at least. The whole sub is essentially homemade. They've got lights from Camper's World in there, and they had a spokesperson going on some news station not very long ago, basically making a joke about the fact, like, yeah, this is basically a death trap. Let's just try it. Sign me up. That has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. Where do I sign? And the whole sub is driven and controlled by like a literal PlayStation controller. I am not exaggerating. You're thinking like some kind of like fancy scientific looking joystick. No, it is actually a video game console thing. Who is signing up to do this? It is just literally a death wish. And that's why people are roasting them because it just seems so absurd and so stupid that none of us would have agreed to do this. They knew that this thing wasn't safe, but the problem is, is that you're dealing with the uber, uber, uber wealthy rich who are wanting interesting adventures and Instagrammable excursions and all this stuff, and they're bored going to Naples, Florida. They want something spicy and unique. And so what does that leave us? You can climb Mount Everest, you can go tour Titanic footage, or you can basically go do Elon Musk's space travel thing, none of which I would ever be signing up for. You are asking for it to sign up to do one of these things. And one of these guys brought his 19-year-old son to go along. And so that, you know, immediately I'm thinking like, was the 19-year-old son actually getting hyped to go tour Titanic? Or was the dad like, come on, like, we, you should do this as a family. Like, this will be great. Because then I'm pissed if my dad made me do this and now we're trapped down there and almost certainly going to die. Now, some people think that the people exploded, there was a crack in it or something like that. And with the, the pressure underwater, like they're goners anyway, and they haven't been just like floating trapped or submerged and stuck trapped for all of these hours and all, all of these days at this point. If they are alive, you have a 19 year old on there with four grown men, essentially old men. And so it's like, what are you talking about? Is somebody being annoying? Is somebody having a mental breakdown? Because somebody on there has to have, you know, had like the freak out moment. And then also you're, you're wondering with, with how old some of these guys are, if one of them had a heart attack from fear or something already, and now they've been in there with a dead body. I mean, if you're talking about like oxygen and science, which I don't know anything about actually, so maybe I shouldn't bring this up. Isn't that dead body like sucking up all the air, the oxygen? that's left? Isn't that how it works? Well, the dead body is dead, so how is it sucking? But something about like the science of air. I am not equipped to talk about this. You're in this tiny little chamber and you're stuck with the poop and pee smell and the dead body smell. There's nothing left to breathe. And the other thing I keep thinking about is, is that sub sound happening like over and over again for hours and hours? You know the sound. What does Kate Winslet think about this? What does Leonardo DiCaprio think about this? I'm just also thinking like, I understand doing like a deep sea diving thing. I understand like looking at beautiful fish, but to go look at Titanic 
wreckage. It is so stupid to me and so boring. If you think I'm gonna spend more than five minutes on this dumpster, then you're crazy. I mean, look at this place. And like, why does anyone care when you can look that up online? You have to understand, they are so deep in the ocean. Like, it is pitch black. There's basically no sea life. I mean, there is very, very, very few sea creatures. There was this article that somebody posted on Twitter last night. It was like a Substack article or something like that. But it was basically like, scroll through this thing and it'll show you the deeper, deeper you get, like however many feet under the ocean, like what life is down there. And if you scroll, you keep scrolling on this page all the way down to where the sub is and where the Titanic footage is, there was like maybe three fish and they're exactly what you're imagining. You know, the kind with the teeth and the little light bulb and that's it, that is it. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna be your best friend. Good feelings gone. <laughs> Now the search and rescue people are saying that they've heard some banging and some people think that it's made up. I tend to think it's real. The captain of the submarine or whatever, I mean, he has experience. He knows that like the, the, the search and rescue sonar is gonna be listening for sounds and things. So if you're banging, they're probably taking turns and assigning different people at different hours. Like, hey, you need to be the banger. I don't care that this sounds crass, but like the way that I am so excited for this Netflix special, whether they live or die, obviously I hope they live, but whether they live or die, I cannot wait because there is just so much that I don't understand logistically what you do and what's happening in this in this moment. And speaking of being insensitive, everyone on the internet is being insensitive about this. Like this has become the top like roasted situation of 2023, which is interesting to me. And I don't know necessarily that that would have happened if it would have been uh, involving other types of characters, but the fact that it's a bunch of old rich men, and by the way, not all of them are white, at least it didn't look like to me, but just the fact that they're rich, you know, you've got the Congresswoman AOC crowd being like, eat the rich, whatever, we hate them. Nobody cares, this is what they deserve. I don't have that sentiment about it, but. But I do think that some of the like dark humor about it is is very funny and I'm enjoying it very much. Like I tweeted, they're gonna get down there, they're gonna find them, they're gonna rescue them. And you know, we know that there's five men on this submarine and they're gonna open the vault of the door, but there's gonna be a sixth person. The person is Grimace from McDonald's. Now that's funny to me, that's funny. And then people were posting like Trisha Paytas clips and being like, this is what I would be like on my uh, uh, like truth or dare on the submarine. Because like they're bored, you know, like what are they doing? Are they playing truth or dare? And that's the other thing too. Like a, most of the men on this ship are at the, at the end of their life. So are they sharing things about like, these were the best moments of my life. And you know, like I'm so happy and proud that I did this, this and this. And, but then you have this 19 year old who's like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, I'm just getting started. Like, and then is he complaining to the other men? Like, you're not allowed to tell your like, high points of your life moments or whatever, because like, I'm never gonna get to experience those. Like there's gotta be that feeling of like, this isn't fair. I'm so young, I have so much ahead of me, of course. Has someone on there eaten somebody else? So many questions, so few answers. And the stupidest part is that going on this excursion, it's not even guaranteed that you will get to see the Titanic wreckage, no. No, there are only five vessels in the entire world that are even capable of making a trip like this. And more often than not, they end up having technical problems and mechanical errors and all of this kind of stuff. So like the whole thing is just mind blowing that again, anyone would sign up to do this. If I were in charge of finding these people, it's very simple. Tell me that a boy I like is on the submarine. I don't have to have anything but his first name and I will find him because I do it on Instagram every day. Would you sign up to do something like this? If you were super rich and you just had all of the money in the world that you could spend, will Grimace be found on the submarine? I gotta be honest, I can't get a beat on you, man. What is your theory on what happened? Wrong answers only. What if we're all on a submarine and they're on the outside? Thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to this channel. I'm Alex Clark, thanks for watching.